all of our desires are divinely led, divinely given to us. So um, you wouldn't have that desire if it wasn't meant for you. And it's really trusting that because sometimes the desire is really not going to make sense. Um, and it might be like far-fetched or whatever, but you had that desire for a reason. Um, like I don't have the desire to skydive, <laughs> but I have the desire to teach this mastermind. Um, and then it's really like, where are you putting your shoulds or like all these conditions around your desire instead of just like, Ooh, I want this. Like, what's the next step? Where are you going? Well, I haven't made this amount of money yet. I haven't signed that type of client yet. Well, I should be, you know, whatever, like all these limitations that we put on ourselves instead of just trusting that desire. So really, where are you like putting the conditions on your desires? Where are you putting the shoulds? Um, and yeah, when I do this, then I can get that. Um, and that's really making your desires logical when the sacral is completely illogical. It's so far away from the brain, <laughs> like where the logical things happen. So that's why we want to be more tapped in to our body. And the moment we catch ourselves going into our head, it's like, okay, do I need a brain dump? Do I need to call a friend? How can I get back to my body? Getting back into the feeling of that desire. Because when we first get our desires, we're so lit up about them. We're like, oh my God, I can't wait to make this happen. Like, here we go. Like every cell is lit up. And then we go into the logical of like, well, I'm not going to be able to make that happen. I haven't made that amount of money yet. Or I haven't, like it goes into all of those logical, all of the conditional things. So really just taking a step back and going, no, I'm going to tap back into the, the feeling of it, that tapping back into that desire. Um, and instead of going, well, how can I switching to, do I want this? And if it's a yes, that's your evidence. That sacral yes is your evidence to that's your correct desire. I can follow this through. I can take the next step. I've got the evidence from my sacral. So it's really, really trusting it um, because the sacral knows what you have the energy for, what like if that's the right aligned person, like the sacral knows. So it's really, really trusting it. Um, and it can be really scary when we're like going out of our edge and we're, you know, stepping into that next level um, and the brain's going to stop us and go, oh, well, that's the unknown. That's kind of scary. Like we should stay in our comfort zone. Like we know what's going to happen here, but that's not where our desires are. Our desires are always going to be just outside of our comfort zone. <laughs> and so it's really just having that faith, having that trust. Um, and that's just going to be you tapping back into into the desire because that's your evidence. And that's really trusting that. And so when you fully decide like, this is what I want, it's really just trusting that. Like I am fully going in and it's, it's yeah, that like all in energy. You're not going, well, you know, well, if they sign up, then I'll teach it. It's like, no, I'm teaching this regardless of who shows up. Like, I am so, so excited, you know, about this desire. And uh, yeah, you're not, um, you're not doing something to get something. You're not like, well, I need to make some money. So I got to create this thing. It's like, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a really like icky energy. And like the people are going to be able to feel that because that's a forcing energy. It's not a like, I'm so inspired. Like I have to take action. Um, Cause that's what we really, really want is like, I'm so lit up every cell of my being is like, you know, wanting to do this. Um, so always checking back in, like, am I so inspired to do this? I have to take action or am I forcing myself to take action because I need to quote unquote, get something. Um, because really all of our power is already inside of us. Everything that we need, we can give to ourselves right now. But so much of the time we're, looking and searching outside of ourselves 
you know, we're like, oh, give me the love, give me the money, like whatever it is. We're always like <laughs> just searching for it when it's like, you can give yourself all of that love. You can give yourself, you know, the security, like whatever it is that you're searching for. Um, so yeah, always checking in there, like what are you really needing? Um, and you can like always tapping back into the body, into that sacral um, and really asking your sacral center, like what is it needing? How does it need to be supported? Um, yeah, and that could be different every single day or every week, but really checking in, like, what does this part of me need? How does it need to be nourished? How does it want to be supported? Um, and, you know, as silly as like something that may come up, if it's just like singing and dancing, it's like, well, then do that. Because <laughs> just as like your desires are divinely given to you, same thing with your intuition, however it may be communicating with you. It's not always going to be a logical response, but it's, you know, giving you that response for a reason. So where are you secretly punishing yourself? Because um, so much of the times you're like, well, I can't have that because <laughs> I haven't done that. <laughs> yeah, um, that was like a huge one for me. Um, it was like I had to work really, really hard in order to receive instead of just like, well, why can't I just have it? Like, mm -hmm. there, like, we don't have to do something in order to get something, um, especially with being generators and manifesting generators. Our design is to respond. That means everything is actually being given to us. Like, the universe is going here, 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 here. Like, what one do you want? <laughs> and we have to tap into, ooh, that's the yes. And really honoring those yeses and those no's. 